Hi, my name is Tom Scanlon. I'm a research scientist at the Thayer School of Engineering at Dartmouth College. In this video abstract, I would like to share the highlights of a paper recently published in Biotechnology and Bioengineering, authored by myself and my colleagues Sarah Dossel and Carl Griswold. The paper is entitled, A High Throughput Screen for Antibiotic Drug Discovery. The primary research interest at the Griswold Lab is discovery and development of antibiotics for the treatment of infectious disease. We are particularly interested in discovery and engineering of enzymes that degrade cell wall targets as a primary mode of bacterial killing. In this paper, we describe a method for ultra-high throughput screening of cell wall hydrolases. Nature provides an almost unfathomable diversity of unique enzyme activities that could be useful as, you not, as novel therapeutics in a biomedical setting or as green catalysts in chemical engineering. Despite intense scrutiny over the past few decades, biochemists have only scratched the surface of natural enzyme diversity. Indeed, the vast majority of soil microorganisms cannot be cultured by standard laboratory techniques. The unculturable microbiota thus represents a rich source of novel enzymes. In our paper, we describe a novel platform whereby environmental DNA or single large gene uh, libraries can be cloned into a recombinant expression host and screened for antibiotic activity at a throughput of roughly 5 million clones per day. Just to put that in perspective, that's roughly 5,396 well plates screening in a single day. Drop-based microfluidics is a powerful methodology for co-encapsulating a genetic determinant with a reporter molecule, usually a fluorogenic probe for desired activity. While this form of chemical compartmentalization is undeniably powerful, it is most compatible with on-chip sorting and requires customized, elaborate setups that are not widely available to most academic researchers. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of our recent publication was the develop of a microfluidic device and workflow for in vitro compartmentalization without any of us having any experience in fluid dynamics, photo lithographic fabrication of microfluidics. Provided access to a compressed gas source, the entire droplet generating system that we describe in the paper can be purchased for less than $250. Critically, our approach involves creation of agarose in oil emulsions in which recombinant microorganisms are co-emulsified with bacterial pathogens. The antibiotic producing microbes secrete products of the gene library, which are concentrated in picoliter droplets and the antibiotic activity can thus be assayed using a fluorescent viability dye. By using a solidified hydrogel aqueous phase, we can use standard flow cytometry, flow cytometry to screen um, at sorting rates that ex exceed 3,000 events per second. Proof of concept experiments demonstrate efficient selection of antibiotics secreting yeast from a vast excess of negative controls. In addition, we have successfully utilized this technique to screen a metagenomic library for secreted antibiotics that killed the human pathogen Staph aureus. I hope you enjoyed reading our paper. Please contact the corresponding author, Carl Griswold, with any questions you might have. Thank you very much.